So this is a short video in English for anybody out there who owns a Truma uh, gas heater. This is not the one that includes the electrical um, heating element, but only the runs on gas. Um, mine had a problem where the pilot would stay lit, but anytime I turned the knob to increase the power to activate the main burner, it wasn't, um, it wasn't activating. So I looked all over the internet, I couldn't find anything like properly in English or a tutorial how to do this. So I found a guy on a German video um, who was taking this thing apart and showing the pieces that were needed. So um, since I live in Europe, despite my American accent, uh, I found the links to the stuff that he um, had, to, had to purchase. And so there's this item, um, kind of hard to explain this, but it's called a, like a magnetic mini insert. And then there's this item here, which is a thermocouple. So uh, those of you who aren't familiar with gas heaters, and trust me, I'm not either, but after a significant amount of research um, and watching tons of videos and looking through manuals, uh, this is a real quick crash course on how these things work. They're actually really simple systems. Uh, they use a convection um, system here where this whole chunk of metal gets heated up. Basically, uh, it's around this metal shield inside of your caravan and then you can turn on a fan and pump the hot air everywhere if you have that set up. Um, this is your exhaust pipe. So anything that's unburned goes through here. Metal insert goes there. Um, if you ever take one of these things off, you have to get the seal. This is like no questions asked, a must do. If you don't do that, you could risk carbon monoxide poisoning. So definitely, definitely under no circumstance, take this thing out and put it back in without buying a rubber seal. So what I did was, um, I took off the thermocouple here, which was messed up, and I replaced this uh, this seal, or sorry, this mini insert. It's kind of like a, it's basically like a spring-loaded electromagnetic setup. So what's interesting about these um, thermocouples is the way they work, work is they, when they're heated up here, they generate a very, very small amount of electrical current, which gets passed through here. I suppose that this activates a valve that causes it to somehow push forward. And then this allows the pilot light, which is always allowing gas to flow into the pilot system. It, this basically what it will do is it will like smush down somehow. Actually, it looks like this. It pushes down like so. And then that allows the flow of gas to come through the main burner, which comes out to here, which is regulated by this switch, which is attached to the turny knob thingamajigger. So anyway, Long story short, what happens is, is with my uh, problem, is my heater was only staying lit on the pilot. And it doesn't matter how much I turned this from one to 10, was it going to light the main burner? The light, main burner didn't light up. So the way the thermocouple works is it acts, if, if it's not functioning properly, it's not gonna generate the current that's needed to allow that valve to open. So the thermocouple is bad, it's only going to maybe at max let your pilot light light. So if you replace it along with the valve, my, my old valve, which is this one, might still be good, but they suggest replacing both at the same time, then if you do that, then it should work correctly. Um, so I guess we just have to test it out and see after I get this thing up. I got a new thermocouple already on, it goes right here, right up to the burner. And then this piece, which is the uh, magnetic valve, goes right inside of here. That's brand new. I'll pop that in and pop it to the thermocouple and we're good. Then it's just a matter of installing it. Two hours. Okay, job. so here it goes. Turn it on now. Check that out. You can see there's the, there's the pilot burner and there's the main burner. Crank that bad boy up a bit more. Now she's really putting out some heat. And that's a heater, honey. Houston, we have a heater.